uh, Nolan North, I play Nathan Drake in Uncharted, uh, all of them. And uh, you'd love to, to be in Paris uh, promoting Uncharted 4 and the big multiplayer. Hey, I'm Troy Baker, and I get to play Sam Drake, the new brother in Uncharted 4. My name is Robert Cogren. I'm lead game designer over at Naughty Dog between these two guys. Perfect. Is it good to create the imagining for, for Uncharted? No, I think the Uncharted franchise lends itself so well mainly because its mechanics uh, work very well in a multiplayer game. Uh, everything from the gunplay to the traversal to the uh, verticality in the environments uh, really work when you're trying to create a, a high action multiplayer experience. Uh, additionally, with how rich the franchise is, everything from the unique locations, the kick-ass characters, and then leveraging all the uh, mystical items uh, across uh, the multiple Uncharted games, uh, multiplayer is, is pretty much uh, an easy thing to accomplish, uh, but hard to find the fun for sure. No, we're always setting out to, the studios definitely has the mentality that we make the games that we want to play, right? And so when we're at the studio, no doubt we take lessons that we've learned across Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, and The Last of Us. Uh, but when it comes down to it, we're just interested in making the types of games that we want to play. And is there stress from expectations outside? Sure, but that doesn't have a big impact on the type of things that we want to create and play with. Which point you are most, the most proud of in the multiplayer? Oh, the, uh, yeah, I think the, the thing I'm most proud of right now is just the, the sense of a uh, high adventure that comes into moment to moment of multiplayer. Uh, a bunch of the new gameplay gameplay elements we've introduced in the moment to moment. Uh, it feels like a high adventure game, a high action adventure that the Uncharted franchise is known for. And uh, given that we've accomplished that with the introduction of our mysticals and some of our sidekicks, and a bunch of things we show off in the trailer. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to, to finally find the fun and for the fun to feel uncharted. And it's a real opportunity, isn't it, to like, like get like the different skins? Because my son is a, loves the multiplayer in Uncharted. So, you know, like he get the, the, the different skins, put on different things. People can, I, I always like that. I don't know how you do it, but they, they get to, you can personalize your characters in certain ways with even some of the, I mean, I've seen some really crazy stuff out there. I mean, he plays one character that's on fire the whole time, and I just went, well, that's intimidating. <laughs> yeah, the, the one thing we've been conscious of for Uncharted 4 multiplayer is that we're really looking at it as, as the culmination of the franchise. And so uh, Nolan mentions all the skins. We're going to have characters from Uncharted Drake's Fortune, from Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, and Uncharted 4. And you'll be able to unlock a wide variety of looks for all these different characters. Also, each character has had their own script written specific to their type of character they are. So when you're playing Nathan Drake uh, and you take out an opponent with a grenade, he'll have one kind of line. Or if you're playing as Sam and he takes out an opponent with a grenade, he'll say something else. Far cooler. <laughs> Far cooler. Yeah, but it won't be nearly as funny. But the team fight, is it difficult to, to live to receive? Because you play, but it's not you. Uh, you know what? I would, I would submit it is me. Uh, because, you know, sometimes many games I lend just my voice, but when you're doing this, you're... It's your movements, it's your actions, it's that kind of stuff. I also enjoy murdering people uh, in my day-to-day. -day. I'll go to the mall and I'll take out 20, 30 people, go home, have lunch, and then maybe come back for maybe 40 more. I'm a psychopath. Ooh, look, a trinket. <laughs> no, no, but you know, in, in all seriousness, it, when, you, when you're this, you know, I've done this character for 10 years. Uh, there can, there can, I couldn't have done it if, if I hadn't been invited to put so much of myself into this character. So. The, you know, the, some of the lines, some of the, the just the sort of smirks and laughs and just things like that have have been so much of me. Um, it, it's an investment. It's a commitment that an actor makes, especially with something that you're in any role you're supposed to do that. But you know, that once you, when you've done it for as long as I have, uh, it, it's kind of becomes you know just a kind of a, a nice comfortable sweater, so to speak. So. Uh, you know, doing this, and then you know, some of the, the lines from multiplayer are a little different than you will find in the narrative. A little more fun, a little more looser, looser, and and um, I, I always have a good time with it, especially some of the taunts. Kitty got wet. There you go. Kitty, Kitty got, got wet. wet. Kitty got You're wet. welcome. And same question for you. Please. What was the question? I forgot <laughs> after your long answer. <laughs> I just um, want to see him tight. It's 
I, I agree with what with Nolan saying. You know, especially with the process that really Naughty Dog has has uh, made as industry standard as far as the performance capture. It's really just the the quintessential elements of, of being an actor. You you find a character, you make choices, and you want to make that character be as believable and as grounded as possible. And fortunately, we've got a really good team to work with that help us with context, that help us with carving out who that character is, especially when you're introducing a new character into a franchise that's in its fourth or fifth iteration, there's, there's a lot of questions that you're going to have. Um, and it's really like approaching any other kind of role, whether it be a TV, film, anything. You want to come in and be as prepared as you can. And what's so great about this process is that, like Nolan said, it is us. It's, it's everything you see. It, it's in a different shell by the time it, it hits the player because it's, you know, I don't look like Sam. But then you start kind of seeing like, oh, there's a little bit of Troy. Just like with, with uh, Nolan, you look at Nathan Drake and I see Nolan. There's, there's so much of Nolan that is infused into that character and the two are just, to me, inextricably tied. Um, you used a lot of big words, so I'm trying to use a lot of big words. Inextricable is a good yeah, it's one. A good one. Good he's one. verticality. I like that one. one. <laughs> verticality. I literally had to look that up while you were talking. I was like, vertic- Siri, how do you say verticality? You're an idiot. Oh, okay. What, is, what does that mean? You, you speak to us to, about your son. And yes. your son say, I play with daddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, he, it's... He does if you know if if he doesn't play well he gets in trouble. Um, I, I I can't tell you how many times during Uncharted three, when he would play that in the house, how many times I heard that. <laughs> and it would fade to the dark because he killed me again. Um, do it over and over. And over and over. <laughs> and then I did. Then I was very upset to see I walked in the room. It was my wife just throwing me off cliffs because she was mad at me. Um, yeah, no, my 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 son's been a. a, a Big fan of the of the of the franchise. Um, he got into it, I think, by Uncharted three, because he was a little too young for the first yeah. two, and then, but the third one came out. He played all of them, and then, uh, and actually, he's a huge fan of Roberts uh, and and all the multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Um, more than you know, he'll obviously play the narrative a few times, but that multiplayer thing is is it's his personal favorite um, because you know it's also. The great thing about multiplayer is it's it's a social experience. Mm-hmm. It's you are um, you're playing with people, your friends from school or somebody on the other side of the world. I met a fan in London uh, this past weekend, who his grandfather lives in Australia. They live in, uh, in London, and his grandfather learned to play, and now they play together. And I just thought, wow, that's amazing uh, that, you know, people all over the world can connect in these things and play, uh, especially in this multiplayer thing. And, and he says his grandfather beats him now quite a bit. That's awesome. Uh, and I told him that's because he's retired and he has more time to play, go to school. Do you play other games on Uncharted? Because I, I think you don't play Uncharted all the time. What's interesting is that I came into this, like my introduction to the franchise and really into kind of this area of the industry was through Uncharted. Um, I remember I was doing a terrible movie in Texas uh, in January, so it was bitter cold, and the only solace that I had was a friend of mine let me borrow his PS3 and his Uncharted, and he said, just left a note on the PS3, he says, you have to play this game. And as soon as I did, I understood why, because I, it was interesting to, to play a game and realize at that moment that you were experiencing something that was going to bring about industry change. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge gamer, and I've devoted a lot of my time to uh, both the Un- Uncharted franchise. I'm actually really excited to go back through and play the Uncharted Drake collection, because I want to see, just as we saw with The Last of Us Remastered, how good an already beautiful game could look uh, with the power of, of the PS4. Uh, I want to go back through and even play Uncharted 1 and, and uh, go back down into the Nazi U-boat and see the zombies come alive and, you know, go trumpsing through the Himalayas. Spoiler alert! Well, if you haven't played it yet, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I do play a lot. Um, and I'm really kind of... Uh, I, I love third-person action-adventure games. That's why probably one of the reasons why I love uh, Uncharted so much is it's, it's just the perfect version of that. Um, but then I love great multiplayer experiences too. I've, I've devoted a lot of my life to, to GTA Online. 
Um, and it's I'm glad that we're doing a multiplayer component in this game because we were down on the show floor, we were checking it out. I was like, this looks the environments. Anytime you play a good single player game and you want to go back through and watch, when you whenever you say I want to play that again, uh, to be able to introduce those in a different kind of medium with multiplayer is really cool. So I'm excited to play the multiplayer as well. I yield the remaining time to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for that type of adventure in your day to day life that's missing, pick up Uncharted Four. I believe you. Thief's End. Will that work? I love it. Do you like it? Yeah. 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 I said go with that one. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? The game's only going to be $7 to buy. (laughs) (laughs) Pick it up at a store near you. $7. You heard of Nathan Drake himself. What's that? Oh, you're from Sony? (laughs) Fired. (laughs) No. Please play Uncharted. It's not seven. It's like five. Five. It's free. Uncharted 4 will be free. Don't miss it. <laughs> free to enjoy. <laughs> free to enjoy, money to buy. Here, here's what I can say. Uh, as a gamer and from someone who has been with the franchise the entire time, speaking purely as a fan and as a gamer of the, of, of the franchise, um, I'm honored and I'm proud and I'm excited to be a part of something that to me is literally the biggest installment in what's already an incredible franchise. Um, someone asked me what game I'm most excited about that's coming out this year, and it's definitely Uncharted 4. And it will be free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sony. 